same day that George Osborne unveiled a tax on the makers of sugary soft drinks. Here's Alex Riley on a school initiative that's also going the extra mile to keep children healthy. Sugary drinks, fatty foods, sweet treats. Is it any wonder our kids are getting bigger? Official figures show that by the time they leave primary school, one in five of them are obese. Experts believe lack of exercise is key, with only around half of seven-year-olds achieving recommended levels of physical activity. But here at St Ninian's School in Stirling, they've come up with a simple solution. OK, boys and girls, let's line up and do the Daily Mile now. Every day, pupils take a 15-minute break from their desks to do laps of the playground. Their aim is to complete a mile. And in the four years since it started, the Daily Mile's grown to be a big hit with children and teachers alike, including Martin Anderson. They're outside every single day, they're walking, they're running a mile, and that allows them then to be active on a regular basis. They come back in, they're energised and they're ready to continue. And it seems the idea has legs, as it's travelled 247 Daily Miles to here, Hornsmill Primary School in Cheshire. And I'm about to meet the first class to tackle the Daily Mile here. This year, five class have had a little bit of practice this week, but today is D-Day. They may be leading the way, but the rest of the school will be joining in by the end of the month. And to give them a kick start, St Ninian's pioneers have sent along some words of advice. My top tip for the Daily Mile is not to sprint the whole thing. Walk maybe 20 steps and you count those steps, and then you could um, jog 15 steps carry on doing that process until you can just jog the whole thing. It's a fun way to get out of class and have fresh air. It also gives your brain a wee bit of a rest and you've been thinking for a really long time in class. It got me into running. I've started loads of clubs. After you've been doing it for even just a couple of weeks, you'll feel so quite, much fitter and yeah, healthier. Yeah, quite, quite a change. There's no more running away from it. It's time, Horns Mill. Hit the track. Let's all get lined up, ready to go outside and give it a go. Ever heard the phrase, all the gear and no idea? Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, you go around, kids, yeah. You go around, happy. Really in a bit, yeah, really. <laughs> what do you think about the uh, doing the Daily Mile? It's all right to get out and have a run and you get to feel the burn. I thought, oh, that sounds a bit boring. <laughs> but when I started doing it, it was actually really fun. It gets you woken up, ready to start your day. I'm so fast, I'm just, I'm, I'm like lightning. I'm, I'm on my 14. What are you on? 14? What are you on? If it was like snowing or something, Snow would you away. still want to do it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really enjoy it because it's a good time to like speak to my friends. Do you feel like you've got more energy or fitness to, yeah. to do stuff? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going right now. Oh, look at him, he's off he goes. Teacher Hayley Martin's in charge of our year five guinea pigs. We did a maths lesson, so we measured out the distance around the playground oh, yeah, to make yeah. sure it was a mile. And then they just kind of took on board that we were going to do it every day. After they come back inside, are they just all exhausted or are they just like all really far too excitable to do any work? I find it's been really positive for coming back in because they've kind of blown off a bit of steam, kind of cleared their mind and then they're back in, ready to do what's asked of them. Horns Mill is one of six schools piloting the Daily Mile in West Cheshire, with plans for up to 90 more to join in by 2018. Duncan Setterington from Active Cheshire is leading the project. Obviously, some kids are fitter than other kids. Is there a danger that it could actually put some kids off? It's not a race, it's not a competition. It's something um, truly for everybody. It's incredibly important that they, they see that habit as something which they can carry on for the rest of their lives. OK, the last one to the climbing frame buys the skinny lattes. Ready? Go! <laughs> Great, great, wasn't it? Great effort, everybody. Yeah, really.